Hi, everybody. It is called Technical Difficulties. Notice the hair, but right now we're going to flip you around and just show you my hands. Well, we'll see how this goes. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And that's how it is. That's just how it is. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we have a little bit more showing than I wanted, but that's just how it is. So, um, the first clue I'm going to review with you what we did, or I should say, welcome to the mystery card night. I called it mystery challenge night. It certainly is a challenge for me right now. So let's get out the things that I asked you to gather together before you were here. I asked if you would select a piece of cardstock that measured four and a quarter by 11. I think it's 11. Yeah. And then you scored it at five and a half. So this is going to be the base of your card. I have Poppy Parade. Then I asked you to have three coordinating colors, and you're like, coordinating, coordinating to what? Well, that's going to be your designer series paper that you chose. This is going to be in the new catalog for spring. It is so pretty, and it comes, it coordinates with this stamp set here. It's called Art Gallery, so it has this, and paper, and the um, dies haven't come yet, but eh, that'll come. So when I asked you to get three strips, of coordinating cardstock colors. Those are the colors that are coordinating on my uh, designer series paper here. So there we have that. And then it says an ink pad to match. I decided just to go with black because black goes with everything and it's slimming. So I know I like to use black, ha ha. Then I asked for a very vanilla or whisper white. And that of course would depend on what your background is. So mine has a white whisper white background. So we're going to use that as, and basically that's just for the inside of your cardstock, just for inside there. Um, one thing I should let you know about the very, no, the Whisper White, it is no longer going to be available because the um, manufacturer can't get the ingredients or something. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but they have found another person, another company to make the Whisper White color. They're just going to, I don't remember what they're going to call it, but... Know that if you want Whisper White, order it now because it's going to be discontinued because they can't get it anymore. But they are going to substitute it with a quality cardstock. Okay, that being said, then it said for to get a coordinating embellished image for the front of your card. And that basically, we'll go through that when we get to the last clue on here. If you have a banner punch, that'd be great. If not trusty old pair of paper snips. Then we also have adhesive. I have our new snail, which is not, it's called stamping seal, stamp and seal. And I also, my favorite kind of glue is this multi tombow and my fun little holder that I got from Leanne Graff. Um, dimensionals, which I don't have, but eh, we'll find, we'll get it. That doesn't matter. And then bling of your choice, which of course I do have. I have our, um, oh, they're the in colors for this year. So we'll just put them aside here. So that's it. I don't know how many people are here. It looks like there's two. Woohoo! I'm so excited. I bet one's my husband and one's my daughter. <laughs> but because this is hopefully being recorded as well so that we can move on. And if they leave a comment, it'll float on the. If the you right leave side. a comment, it'll float over here somewhere. <laughs> so I'll be able to see it. I don't know if I can see it or not. So we're done with clue number one. And that should have been both on my blog and also sent out in an email. Okay. Okay, clue number two. It says to take your fold, your card base and fold it at the score line. So here's your score line, and you're just basically going to fold it in half. Then it says to take your DSP that you have, and you're going to attach that to the front of your card. So I'm going to be using the stamp and seal. I just am putting the minimum on. Then I'm going to decide which way I like this, and I like it this way. So you're going to take your designer series paper, and you're going to adhere it to the front of the card. The next thing you're going to do is open up your card, and you're going to adhere your Whisper White piece that you cut just for the... Ha! 
<laughs> to the inside of the card. Um, I'm using Whisper Rake because it coordinates with my designer series paper. That's clue number two. Review. Take your GSP, attach it to your base, then on the inside, attach your white, then put this to the side. We're ready for clue number two. Okay, here we have Mary Selby is watching. Hi, Mary, how are you? Hi, I'm here. Yay! I'm so happy you're here, Mary. Okay, now for clue number three. We say to grab the three pieces of cardstock that you cut, and I believe it was four and a half by one, but the most important part of that, that it's at least four and a half inches. And again, I picked my colors to coordinate with my DSP. And up, oh, Tom Siasio was on, and he says, I don't know what he says. This is great for, I don't know. I can't read the comments because they're sideways and I can't see anyway. So here we go. Cut one to four and a half. And I don't believe I told you to bring in a, um, to bring to your place a, some kind of a ruler. But we're going to take this and we're going to cut it at four and a half. You could use your paper snips and a ruler, or I'm going to just use this. So four and a half, and I'm going to cut it. Looks like no. And then the next one you're going to be doing is at three and a half. I mean at four. So we're going to cut one of them at four, one at three and a half, and one at four and a half. And I would suggest that you arrange the colors and how you want them to be to decide because you're going to have one strip here, the longest one, the second longest strip here, and then a third longest strip here. So decide which colors you want. And I don't want that. Okay, I think. Uh, okay. I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to cut the longest one at four and a half. The next longest one is going to be yellow, and I'm going to cut that at four. And then my final color is going to be at three and a half. And as soon as I move this out of the way, you'll be able to see it. Okay, so. Again. We have one at four and a half, one at three, uh, four, and then one at three and a half. Okay. Then it says you could use the banner punch to fishtail the strips. Well, this is our banner punch, and you could use this one. And if I were going to do that, I would take it, put it in here, figure it out here, and then... Cut it like that, and then you have a fishtail. Where am I? There we are. Okay, well, sometimes everybody doesn't have all of the tools like I do. You can become a demonstrator and earn them 20% off. So instead, you're going to fishtail it yourself. And what it says here is you can make a cut about a half an inch from the bottom, which I'm doing here, and then cut in from the edge to the top of the slit. Well, the top of the slit is right here, and I'm going to go to the edge to the top of the slit and from the other edge to the other top of the slit. And if you look, you can't even see that there's a difference here. Yay. And then I'm just going to, this is my favorite way to do these just because then I know I'm getting exactly what I want. Okay. There we go. There are my three pieces of paper. Okay. Who else is here? Mary and Tom are still with us. That's great. Thanks for being here. Okay, then it just says to arrange the two longest of your strips next to each other, the longest one on the left. Believe it or not, my left hand, because that's the hand I got married with, I'm going to arrange these here next to each other. You want to put the top of your strip to the very top of the designer series paper. Leave about mm, half an inch on the side there. You're going to adhere these two like this. And I'm looking at this and 
I'm thinking, hmm, that's not a whole big. I think I want it a little bit more. So I'll probably snip it at the end. And you can do this too, even though it's not in the instructions. <laughs> and then I'll just put some of this tape here. This stuff glides on so nice. It is such a great product. Okay. So is everybody ready for Christmas? Do you have your trees up? My tree is up. My dinner is planned and I shopped for the food for it today. And now all we have to do is cook it. <laughs> okay. Then it says to take your third strip and it's, you're going to center it on top of the first two. So I'm going to put my adhesive on there and I'm going to center it right there. Oops, but you know what? I cut the yellow one. I'm going to cut the red one now, too. I shouldn't call it red or yellow. I should call them by their names. This is the Poppy Parade, Bumblebee, and I don't remember. Okay, so we have this so far. How are you guys doing? Can't hear you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> hey, we're on to clue number four. Isn't this fun? I hope you guys got to go through your stash and you're able to get, use up some of that designer series paper and things like that. Deb Johnson. Hey, Colleen and Beth Johnson. <gasps> Beth! I'm so embarrassed. Just kidding. Hi, Beth. She's a fellow demonstrator and uh, she's probably one of my idols. And now I'm nervous. Just kidding. Okay, so... Okay, on a strip of Whis Whisper White, which I didn't ask you to have. So if you happen to have some paper laying around like white, like I do, I think everybody does at some point, don't they? Have uh, Whisper White. And since I can't seem to find my strip that I cut, I will cut another one. Don't do that because then it bounces. My son is here to help and I love him to death. What would you do without your kids, right? Oh, and I'm moving things too. Okay, we'll just recenter it. I'm going to be cutting a piece of sc scrap into um, three fourths of an inch by I don't know yet. So I'm going to ink this up. This um sentiment is from that. What I showed you before, I don't know if I'm supposed to be showing you this until January, but it's the art gallery that my paper coordinates with. This says, I'm thinking of you. It's a great sentiment because then you can tell everybody you're thinking of them during this pandemic. So I'm just basically going to put that in the middle. I'm thinking of you. Okay. And now if you see, I just put it here. I'm going to cut off a little piece. Now, if you had dimensionals, which I just might, hold on. As luck would have it, I, oops, just happened to have some in a little dish on the other side of the, the room here. So I'm going to take some of my dimensionals and I'm going to put them on the back of my paper. Peel these off. And they're not peeling. Who else is here? Molly, my daughter. <laughs> and then I still have Beth here and Mary Selby. I'm so excited. Okay, enough of that. So here I am going to, I'm just going to try to put it like hmm, wherever it looks good, wherever it looks balanced. So now I have my sentiment on there. And then I also asked, so place a strip on your card using dimensionals, which I did. Add your coordinating embellished image to the cardstock strip. And do you think I made one? No. But what I did with the other card, essentially it's done now after you put your little embellishment on there. The original card that I made is... right here. See, so it's got the 
the background paper and it has the little banners it has a card strap strip and then this was my this is another um new set coming from the cat catalog i think it's like called in the garden or something and uh when i first made the card i thought holy cow are those that background is so busy but i'm like eh, oh well it's a thank you card and then here we have this and again you can then take your embellishments and decorate away here i added some bling here so that is basically our mystery stamping night it's basically using the things that you have and in my case it was like new stuff because <laughs> i kind of like that we we get to order a month ahead before when the catalog comes out it'll be coming out january 4th and we got to order the beginning of December for new stuff so that we can play with it and then get excited about it so we can get you excited about it. One of the um, things that we're doing with my upline is she's doing a, a celebration um, where she's going to have a bunch of different products to show. Kind of, and then this, well, here we've got two of the ones that I'm doing. And it starts out with a simple ink and card taking the same product but adding more you add it up by putting the ribbon on there and i put a bling on there and a ribbon and all this other kind of stuff so it's basically the same card but just stepped up a bit with other things i haven't done the middle card yet so i'll be sure to send you an invitation to this so um nicely done you did a great ah <laughs> beth you inspire me so um, basically, that's it for tonight. Um, I'd like to do this two times a month. And I think just A, it keeps you stamping. B, it helps you use your stash up. And it's just fun. Keeps me keeps me busy. Ha ha. You know, I'm retired now. Oh, I forgot about sharing your card. Thanks, Brian. Um, I want you to share your cards that you made. I'll put mine up by... Please help me, Brian. Oh, here it goes. Post your finished card in the discussion area of this event, or you can send it to me in an email, and I'll put it up on my blog, and everybody who sends it in will see how many did it. You just might get a late Christmas present. Something simple, but something fun, just because I know there aren't 20 people online. <laughs> I could do it with three or four, but I'm so glad that you came to join me tonight. And um, this was fun. I hope that you had fun too. Good night, everybody.